Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Secret of Evermore. In the last episode, we got to Omnitopia. <clears throat> in this episode, we're hopefully going to go a little bit further in Omnitopia. Thankfully, we're about to end the, the end before we died. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot. If you died, <clears throat> these guys come back. It's a little bit of a shame. Okay, so that guy's down. I guess we'll worry about it later. Right now, let's go into C2. Bands are on. In all honesty, after thinking about it for a little while, now that I have gotten older and I guess wiser, this area really is not as bad as I made it out to be as a kid. Ow. In fact, it's relatively straightforward. Alright, you're gonna take care of that, Shadow. Once I'm done with this game, I think I have another game planned for, um... When Legend of Zelda is over, because it's going to be over soon. Though I might actually use this to replace Legend of Zelda and then use something else to replace Sukoden for now. Because it did take me longer than I would have liked to, um... Beat this due to some reasons. Anyway. So now we're going to... C1. Because that's where that thingy was. Alrighty. Down the chute! As you can see, the fans turned off some of these heaters. Not all of them, but most of them. I'm surprised that didn't heat me. Since I was literally right next to it. We go through here. Received old reliable. It's not a weapon, I imagine. I don't think so. Old reliable, huh? Ah, there we go. Yep. Now these are mini puzzles that you can do to get better armor before the end of the game. And I highly suggest doing so. Alright, that put us at D1. Yeah. Getting stuck in that little wall there is really bad. I'm glad I didn't get, uh, owned. Though, to be honest, I might go back after taking this guy out. Because I believe there was another room we could have gone through. Come on, buddy, come back! Also, just noting, it's a little weird to get into these portals. You have to press down as you're going down them in order to actually go through them. So getting through this area of just going down those things is a bit of a trouble in itself. Man, I, I just love the experience playing this game so much. I really hope you guys have also enjoyed the time. Um of this game and watching it because man, I already want to play the game again. Because it's just so good. 
for me, at least. I really wish there was a sequel, but I also don't want a sequel disease, where the sequel is infinitely worse than anything else they could have made. I kind of want to save it, actually. Just to be safe. In Omnitopia Healing Station Operative. And put 100 credits for reset cycle. Engage! Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Cycle complete. Please step away from the beam. Would you like to record your progress? See you later. Omnitopia actually isn't too long. Hey, buddy. Lay off. Hey. <clears throat> and also, just for, you know, everybody watching, you can beat the game without any of the special stuff that we traded for. It's just... Please get them, because it'll make your life infinitely easier. Because, let me tell you, I have beaten this game before with nothing, and it really is hard. Um... Like, the difficulty of this game is, is no joke. I can't imagine have, not having everything we've gotten up to that point. Though... I will say it would have probably been better to have the armor polish than it would have. Well, not the armor polish, what am I saying? I remember now that armor polish wasn't as great as I thought it would be. But, um, it probably would have been great to have, like, better things. <laughs> Maybe level 2 of that, uh, javelin. Or lance. The D2 is just a Wilkin port. <laughs> Let's get rid of that thing. Can I switch to you? Okay. Sometimes the switching works very well the first time you press a button, and sometimes you have to press a button a few times. I'm not sure if that's just because my controller is a little bit wacky, but... Zoom! Or not. I do have to wonder if Jimmy Neutron ripped the dog off of this dog. This dog design. Okay. Almost took him out. Okay. D3. Take this guy out so we can get the credits for it before we go anywhere. Heal up. That and I really like the experience, and there's really not that many enemies here to level up on except those guys. Well, time to take two of these things out. We have to go past C3, but we also have to go around a bit. Okay. Okay. 
I do suggest, though, just being careful after you go through these guys the first time. I would highly suggest doing exactly what I did in the first episode when we were here, uh, of Omnitopia. And God's going around getting rid of these things before you even start the area. Because unless you die, you don't have to worry about destroying all these things again. Alright, I think that's the last thing we need to worry about. Down the chute. There is one area in particular that I'm not too sure about, and that is... Woo! I was looking away from the screen, and then suddenly there was a fan in my face. Ah, uh, cat. Uh, I always like to give her good morning hugs to everybody. Might as well get rid of all these guys. Ow! Hey! Access code. Ah, oh, yes, this is the code room. Storage room lighting on. Greenhouse lighting off. Do the three digit, digit access code to disable the alarm. Three. Two. One. One. Two. Three. Two. One. Three. Two. Three. One. One, three, two. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. The lock. Now you have to turn the greenhouse lights off. If you do not, you are in for a bad time. Because those... Friggin' plants will kill you. And I when I say kill you, I'm not haha, -ha, they're gonna like do a meager amount of damage, but you'll still get out of it, okay. No, they will kill you. And I'm not joking there. Like these plants will do upwards of 150 to 200 damage per hit, and they will swallow you whole. And you cannot escape. There's no way to kill them either. So, yeah. Looks like we're in some kind of... Battle zone. I'm assuming this is the security alarm room. Better guess. But hey, more XP for us. Come on, get him, buddy. Oh, you evaporated him. Get nothing, really? Thank you, game, for being so nice. Giving me nothing. Hey, buddy. Ow. Second level. Let's put a barrier up. Too worried about nothing since the dog's gonna be doing most of the damage. This is honestly at the point of the game where I usually just buff the dog. 
Shadow's doing fine taking things out of his own. I'm just gonna buff him to make sure he can do it faster. Cause I mean, they kind of nerfed the character after a while when they made uh, the main the uh, dog so strong. The main character, no. The main character's got a kill wall based on weapons, so. I mean, the dog does too, but. There's the barrier. There's the speed. I definitely want to make sure those last way longer before we get to the boss. Do. Nothing. Blasted. Received a titanium vest! Unfortunately, though, I do believe that means that if we went the correct way the first thing we did, which means no. We're going back. Honestly, XP is more valuable than anything they could give us at this point, because I would really like to be above 300 HP before we fight the final boss. And we're getting relatively close to that. Let's go down to D4. Oops. I didn't mean to go up. Now these plants, they will wake up. There's some place where you get a hint about these plants. Oops. Again. Accidentally pressed up. You're supposed to get a hint by of these plants by someone here, but... Yeah, that's creepy, isn't it? One problem is you can't really see where you're going. I believe the only way to get to the armory is actually through the mess of uh, plants that can kill you. So D4 might not be the way to go. Ow. Thank <laughs> you. 
Area for walking around. There's no area here because it's so small that is not deliberate, so... Go back down to D3. Turn lighting on for a second. Also, that's all the time we've got for this episode. So in the next episode, we'll be going into the dreaded greenhouse. See you guys then.